I'm going to introduce you to Zsculpt, which allows a new sculpting approach. Since we give access to a dozen of functions with a combination of keys and mouse buttons, the artists using this tool mostly get eight times faster. I recommend using the tablet so you can take the full potential of this plugin. So here's a sneak peek. Before starting, please make sure that the plugin is correctly loaded within the plugin manager. I will post a link below in the description of this video so you can have more detailed information about the installation. You will find everything you need on the website. So you first select the mesh, then launch this command. Here we're going to draw some splits through all the edges that the cursor will cross during the drag. As soon as you release, the splits will be applied onto the mesh. Hold left click during the process until you're done. Open GI function calls will display a yellow indicator. You have the option to cut in the middle of edges by holding the left mouse button again, but then press control key to activate that option. A reddish indicator will be shown for that purpose. You can also collapse these edges by holding control then left click. Hovering over these components will show them as red, which means they are ready to be collapsed. All the method focus on reducing the amount of steps so you can speed up your workflow. For deleting edges, hold control then press middle mouse. Repeat the process as much as needed. Merging points is a reoccurring task. As a click saver, this tool will merge all the vertices you will hover if you hold shift and then left mouse button release for ending the process. For the sake of simplicity, we've implemented our own move tool. The artist will not have to switch to another tool since all the necessary functions are easy to access with keys combination. For doing so, drag the vertex with the middle mouse button. Feel free to increase that radius by holding shift plus the middle mouse button, then dragging the mouse horizontally until you're satisfied with the blue circle radius. These values will be saved permanently throughout different Maya sessions. As expected, now the center point is moving with the surrounding vertices. Furthermore, you have the ability to smooth the surface by holding Control shift then middle mouse button. As before, you can change the radius of the smooth function by holding Shift and moving vertically while holding the middle mouse button. The outside circle stands for the smooth radius and the inner one the strength of the smooth function. Let's create some polygons. For doing so, I'm going to extrude an edge. I'm holding the control and shift, and while dragging with the left mouse button on the edge, this one gets extruded. As you can see, it's not yet created. As long as you don't release the button, you can interact with its angles. It helps to avoid distortions and preserve some nice shapes during the creation. The orientation degree is specified with the number on the top left. While creating new polygons, we made the process easier. Anytime the newly created edge will touch another one, it will be merged automatically. We received some interesting feedback from users and we encourage the community to participate in the roadmap. As a result, we have added some new functions since the last release. To bring you more control, you now have input parameters available in the Maya tool settings. The snap tolerance determines the insertion of the new vertex along the edge. The lower is the value and it'll less be snapped into the extremities of the edge. To give you an idea of this effect, you can visualize its tolerance with a yellow override display on the edge. As long as the cursor stays on the plain part of the line, the new vertex will be created in that area. If the cursor hovers over the dashed part in the display, the new vertex will be created at the opposite side. Let's say you start a split at the corner of a polygon. Hover over the cursor at that point. You'll see a yellow dot and then click and drag from that point. To finish a split at the vertex, move to that point and then hold shift. In the case of your tolerance value has not been proper valued, hold the shift that will snap automatically to one of the points at the current edge. Drawing curves instead of straight lines would probably give you a better experience, but it is considered as an expert mode since you have to make sure that you can handle consecutive polygons. 
you can extrude border edges by holding shift, and yellow dashed lines will appear showing the edges that will be taken into consideration. You can modify the selection by changing the angle limit. The selection will stop or extend depending on the edge degree angle found. Finally, keep hold of the shift and left drag the mouse button to extrude. Pick range is the radius in pixels surrounding the cursor. The first edge intersecting that circle will be selected. Increasing that value will make sure that you don't miss any edge, but on the other hand, you can't lose accuracy. Set that value accordingly. To delete an entire edge loop, just hold shift on the selection then press middle mouse click. You can split a loop of edge ring by holding control shift, drag your position to adjust the split and then press the left mouse button. The update is free for current users. New users can enjoy and bring some more ideas. More details can be found on the website. Thank you and subscribe for upcoming tools and updates.